The Ski Cross World Cup Tour descended upon Inikin and the Italian Dolomites for the fourth round of the circuit on the famous 1.3km track that's been used on the World Cup Tour since 2009. A track that tests all of the skills needed for Ski Cross, we were in for a classic. Nesland was in the big final against longtime rival Smith and Thompson and her teammate Moberg. Nesland is lightning quick out of the start and she was in the lead early with just Smith chasing her down. Out of the final turn of the race was on Smith charging towards the line, aiming to reel in the Swedish leader, but Nesland had enough, just, and crossed the line five hundredths of a second ahead of Smith. By the smallest of margins this season, Nesland got her fourth win of the year, with Smith her first podium of the season, ahead of Thompson, who picked up her third podium finish of the season by managing to hold off newcomer Moberg, racing in her first final. Nesland now sits on 400 points at the top of the women's standings, but knows the rest of the field might just be starting to close the gap. In the men's final, we had man of the moment, Matthias Graf aiming for his second win of the season and his career in just his fourth start, and a trio of Canadians, Reese Howden, Chris Mahler, and the great Brady Lehman. Howden coming off the back of a podium in a Rosa got the best of the starts, but Graf was on his tails and executed an exceptional pass to take the lead. Lehman and Mahler battled hard for third, but by the time we hit the line, it was Graf who got his second career win in his fourth start, showing that he is the dominant force in men's ski cross. So Matthias Graf taking the win, second place going to Reese Howden with third, Brady Lehman, his first podium finish of the season. Graf again showing he has all the skills needed to be successful in ski cross, but he knows there's a lot of experience in the field ready to challenge him through the rest of the season. Day two saw similar conditions, with warm temperatures meaning course preparation was key, and the experienced team here in Inneken had the track in exceptional condition for race day. Naisland and Smith again made the women's final, this time with 2015 world champion Andrea Limbacher and a second Austrian racing in her first final, Sonja Giegler. Naisland was again in fine form, and this time she wasn't under any pressure and looked to be cruising towards the victory. The drama happened behind Naisland. Smith ran wide before the last turn and had to battle to stay on the course. Giegler came in with speed and collided with Smith, and both skiers went down and missed the gate. Naisland again getting the win. Limbacher able to ski from fourth to second to get on the podium, and Smith and Giegler awarded joint third. Smiles for all four skiers on the podium, and a well-earned rest now in store. Sandra Naisland picking up her 33rd career win, the most of anyone in the history of the sport. And Naisland at the top of the women's standings on 500 points, the perfect start to the season. A 231 point lead at the top of the standings over Marielle Thompson, who went out in the quarterfinals today. Reese Howden was the only man to make finals on both days. Graf crashed out in the quarterfinals. This time, Howden had Sugai from Japan, Baxleitner from Germany, and Simone Deramidis all for company. Howden had been consistent with his starts all race long, and in the final, it was no different. A comfortable race from Howden saw the 2021 Crystal Globe winner come home to take his seventh career win and first of the season, ahead of Sugai from Japan in second and Baxleitner in third. Deramidis, the man to miss out today. The wait for an Italian podium here in Inneken continues. A career best result, though, for Ollie Davis of Great Britain in seventh. A delighted Reese Howden stands on the top step of the podium with his first win of the season, his third visit to the podium in a row. In the men's standings, it's Reese Howden who now leads and will wear the yellow bib into round six in Idrefjalla, Sweden. With so many men capable of a top result in ski cross, consistency is the name of the game, and Reese Howden looks like he's found it. The FIS Ski Cross World Cup Tour now takes a break and will return on the 21st and 22nd of January in Idrefjalla, Sweden. Remember to check out the FIS app for all the latest from the Ski Cross World Cup Tour.